So, we're gonna plug the NerdMiner in a USB port. You can plug it into any USB port or wall charger or anything like that. You don't have to be use your computer. This is a 10 port USB uh, hub that comes with a 10 NerdMiner kit. So we're gonna wait for the screen to show up. It's gonna ask you to go to your Wi-Fi and connect to the NerdMiner AP. I'm doing this for my phone. You can also do it from your computer as well. I'm actually gonna copy my Bitcoin address. This is my CK pool information. I'm gonna copy my Bitcoin address so then I can use that on my setup. So I'm gonna go to the Wi-Fi and have that Bitcoin address copied. I'm gonna go to NerdMiner AP. And it might ask you for a password. If it does ask you for a password, the password is mine your coins, capital M, capital Y, and capital C. If that doesn't work after a couple times, you have to reflash the nerd miner. We'll show you how to reflash it after we are done with the setup. If it still doesn't have a correct, user, a correct password for you, you probably didn't erase the flash. You have to erase the flash and then flash it. That way you can get to this page you're looking at right now and that will solve the issue with wrong password. So once you pass the wrong password, you put the password and everything is okay, now you're gonna see this. And I'm, the first thing we're gonna do is configure the Wi-Fi. There is a list of Wi-Fi here and I can just click and choose the Wi-Fi that I want. Now you're gonna update the password of your Wi-Fi and notice that it only supports 2G Wi-Fi. So if you don't have 2G, this will not work. You might need to ask your ethernet provider to open a new guest network with a 2G ethernet. And if you want, you can also open a 2G network separately for this miner. There's no problem doing that as well. You can also type your Wi-Fi username here, but make sure you do it correctly. If you're doing an extra space or you're not putting one of the letters correctly, the capital letters, it will not connect. So remember that, okay? Now leave the pool, the pool URL and pool port by default, use the public pool.io. Most pools will not support this low hash rate miner. It has very, very low hash rate and most of the pools will just reject it. So I will leave this by default or make sure you use a pool that supports low hash rate, okay? The Bitcoin address I'm gonna remove and remember, I already copied mine for easier setup. So I'm just gonna paste my Bitcoin address here your Bitcoin address will be here. So make sure you paste that in there. This is where you're gonna get paid if you get lucky and hit a block. So make sure that is correct. This is my Bitcoin address, okay? Um, I'm not touching the, the pool. I recommend not touching it. If you do, it might cause an issue. You have to start all over again, do the whole flashing again. I'm gonna go ahead and put the password for my ethernet. All right, that's done. Everything else looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And we're gonna wait for the nerd miner to start mining. All right, guys, we are mining. As you can see, I'm getting 65 to 72 um, hashes per second. It's coming up, you can see the temperature, everything looks good, that's what you wanna see. You wanna see this, the hash rate right there, 72. You wanna see that, so you know it's mining. So we're all done here. Um, that's it. Now if you have 10 of them, you have to do it one by one by one. Don't set up all at the same time. If you have a 7 port, 10 port, it doesn't matter. If you buy multiple, set up one, you're done. Set up the second one and then you're done and do one by one by one. Don't try to do multiple. It's gonna, get, it's gonna create confusion. So we're done here. Now let me show you how to flash it in case you have wrong password, in case you have black screen, in case no mining, stuff like that. We're gonna do flashing of this miner in case this happens to you. We are now flashing the nerd miner. First step, plug it into the computer. The first thing we're gonna do is go to this website, flasher.bitronics.store. There's also a link in the video for that, so that's easy. Let's erase flash first. So it will open up something like this, a USB serial, okay? It might look a little different, the number might be a little different, and make sure you choose the right thing. You don't wanna flash the wrong device, okay? Make sure it's the nerd miner that you are flashing. If you're not sure, unplug it. This is a live thing, so you will see it. Unplug it, plug it back in, and you will see it pop up, okay? So I'm gonna choose that and wait for the complete removing of the flash. 
We are now done with the flashing. Um, we are now done with erasing the flash. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page or open it again and choose this option, the second option, and then click flash. Again, choose the same unit, click connect, and now we're going to wait for this to be done. If it fails, you have to try again. If it still fails, try to erase flash and flash it again. You're going to have to do it a couple times, but you can see here it's successful. So now I can just set it up again. I can take it out, put it back again, and you can do this as many times as you want. Every time you see a black screen, wrong password, no hashing, do the same thing. Erase flash, then flash it again. And that's it. Now you know how to troubleshoot if you have any problems with your nerd miner. If there is wrong password, you know how to flash it and erase flash. And you can also uh, set it up from scratch now. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. You can always go to bitcoinmerch.com and grab one for you for like $25. This is a lot of fun. Will you ever hit a block? I hope someone will hit a block with this, but most likely no. It's a very, very low power device, but so much fun and you can set it up so easy. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.